Hey everybody, Eric Counts here with my good buddy, Corey Bolton. Hey Eric, good to see you again, man. We're not together very often. Yeah, we, uh, we've we noticed that we don't get to spend much time together working on the system. So normally, Corey's in one part of the country and I'm in another or vice versa. And we never really get a chance to, uh, to just sit down. Today we did and we thought it'd be great, excuse me, to get you guys a, a couple of videos out there. So uh, one of the things that I want to do is show you guys how to set up a basic uh, client uh, email sequence that's going to send out their username and password for their portal. Yeah, we get asked that just about every day. How do we do that? Uh, so everything in Disco is not built to just automatically happen. You have to tell it to happen. This is one of the things that is a, one of the, probably the very first step in your business is sending out that first contact to the customer. Correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to click admin and then we're going to go down to campaign and I'll show you guys that I created a sequence and I called the sequence um, new client portal details right and uh, edit that just to show you again here I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and I'll just do it again for you so here's what we're gonna do uh, the first thing that we would do is click <clears throat> send email add new step right now when you whoop, that didn't yeah I did so we want that to come to the customer and we want it to come from customer service with the subject of something like welcome to the company whatever whatever you want it to say this is your email now in here you would say you know welcome uh, blah 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 and then please log into your portal at now I went not portal portal Corey <laughs> I'm a horrible typist Proto. yeah so I went and pre-copied my link if you need George you just go to admin system and it's right there in the system page to get your link but log in here and then using this username now over here are a list of variables that I can use inside this email so I want to list their username I'm just gonna come over here to portal login and then I'm gonna go password and I'm gonna go portal password thanks right and then I'm just gonna save that that's it now that sequence exists so what I've done is when I set myself the status contact statuses when I set myself the status of active you see it will start that sequence so this status starts that sequence okay so let's go to clients let's go find Eric let's go find me here here I am so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my own status to active you're about to change another uh, Eric count status are you sure you want to continue yes I do continue okay now within just a couple of minutes or very very quickly I should receive a new email and that's usually done within one to two minutes um, that the email will show up that email sent me out uh, my username and my password from Disco. It's that easy, guys. If I could get my uh, email to refresh. Email to refresh. Guys, I'm not a big fan. Like, I've had GoDaddy email for forever. Not a big fan of it. No, it's horrible. I've just had it for so long. There it is. Uh, tick tock, tick tock. Um, less than a minute. Less than a minute, guys. You know, the system, give it just a second. It's less than a minute. It goes out. But here it is. Welcome to the company. And then I can then go into that email. And it's going to give me my username and password for the portal. And I can click in right there. That's how it's done. So that's done. Super simple. And then we'll make another video on how to get the client to change their password. Yep. Talk Thanks, to guys. you guys soon.